Are you a first class, second class, or third class passenger? The history of Hong Kong Peak Tram. What comes first when you think of the Hong Kong Peak Tram? Tourist, the Peak Tower, Madame Chaussee. Have you ever think of class division when traveling on the Peak Tram? Let's find out the truth about the most spectacular public transport in Hong Kong. The first generation, 1888 to 1926. The Peak Tram is a funicular railway in Hong Kong, and it is also the first funicular railway in Asia. It has been operated since 1888 as the main transport carrying passengers from Central to the Victoria Peak. In this period, the Peak Tram divided into three classes: first class, British colonial officers and residents of the Victoria Peak; second class, British military and Hong Kong police force; third class, other people and animals. There were two seats reserved for the governor and his wife of Hong Kong. In Richard Brunswick reading, this seat is reserved for His Excellency the Governor as an honor to the British Hong Kong Governor. Obviously, the class concept has been demonstrated through the seat arrangement of the Peak Tram in old days. The second generation, 1926 to 1948. This generation had used an electrically powered system to replace the coal-fired steam boilers. In World War II, the peak tram service was suspended due to the attack of engine room by the Japanese army. The third generation, 1948 to 1959. This generation had a significant change in its skin. It turned from its signature burgundy to army green. Experts in architectural conservation believe that the price of military paint was lower than other colors because of the abundant supply after the World War II, so that using green color is cost effective. The usage of army green paint reflects the recovery period of Hong Kong's economy after the war. The Chinese pronunciation of green is lu, which is a pun for prosperity. The fourth generation, 1959 to 1989. This generation was equipped with a new set of fully automatic, lightweight metal body cars, each of which seats 72 passengers. Nowadays, one of these cars is being used as customer service center in the Peak Galleria. The fifth generation, 1989 to 28th of June, 2021. The fully automatic fifth generation adopts its signature burgundy again. The capacity of two cars has been increased to 120. The last service day of the fifth generation was on 28th of June, 2021. What comes next? The sixth generation. The fifth generation has retired, and the sixth is coming soon. Looking forward to the new peak tram. Automatic system used by the peak tram remains the same, but the capacity will be increased to 210. More passengers can be served in one ride. These can definitely alleviate the pressure of peak tourist period. Class division in the old days has gone. Now everyone can enjoy a ride with the spectacular Hong Kong Island view on the peak tram. In the past, the peak tram was mainly for transportation. And now it is a significant tourist attraction in Hong Kong. We are very proud of having it as a historical attraction for our guests from all over the world. The new peak tram will be in service in the late December 2021 or early 2022. Get ready to be a local tourist there.